You were the most difficult girl for me to shoot out of all of the 10 girls here. Today I'm reacting to an episode from America's Next Top Model where Tyra has so much difficulty shooting with one model that she puts her in the bottom two. So let's check it out. <laughs> Boom! Tyra just pops out of the fabric. Surprise! Are you surprised it's her? No. <laughs> Looks like we're in a photo studio, right? Yes. And your photographer is going to be who? <laughs> Tyra. So Tyra is going to be the photographer for this photo shoot. I'm curious to know how involved she will be in the lighting process. And look at me, even me just saying this, I'm like, I know she, she's going to, listen, she's going to show up. The light's already in place. Setting's done. Someone's going to probably hand her a camera. That's what they do. They press the button, they go home. In the fashion industry, beauty just means focusing on the face. Can't relate. Close up on the face. That's all beauty means. A lot of petite models make a career out of just doing beauty shots only. Tyra's definitely right about that. There are models who maybe they're shorter, but they can do like print stuff. And I always get questions like, oh, well, can I model if I'm not tall enough? I'm like, absolutely. I've met models that are like, 4, 11 or something like they're not as tall and they're doing all of these campaigns for all these brands. I mean, it's definitely possible. Okay, so the reason why you unwrapped my body from the scarf <laughs> is because you all are going to be having scarves on your heads. Y'all gonna look like how I look when I go to bed at night. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the shoot, we're gonna do something very different. I love this idea. What Give do we compliments. Do? Okay. Feedback. The girl that has the strongest photo will be determined today. That girl will be safe and will not be eliminated this week. <laughs> and there's gonna be an extra prize at the end of this photo shoot. So what's the prize? Because that's going to indicate how much effort I'm putting into this. Is it cash? Is it tax deductible? Like, what's going on? I'm like, okay, how is the IRS going to view this now? What is this, indigo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very Bollywood. <laughs> oh, okay. Spot brow, hard line, contour, contour, contour. Ooh. I love how Tyra just goes through this, this, bye-bye. This, you're this, okay, bye. Like, security, go. Like, it's just one, two, I mean, she knows, listen, she knows what she wants. She has the vision. It looks like a pretty cool concept. I feel like this could actually be used in the girl's portfolio. Is it just my face or how, how much is it? We should always model from our tippy toes to the top of our head. We call that modeling H to T, head to toe. So I'll be shooting. That's Tyra's vocabulary, H to T. I just have to say, this is looking so beautiful. The makeup, the styling, her top. I love it so much. I wish I could photograph this. I wish I could just go in my time machine, you know, press a few buttons and show up and, and come out. I could be wrapped in a scarf too. You could do a little, I could do a little spin. I can unravel. Sweet little Laura. She's on set, she's lounging, body's looking good, beautiful eye penetration. But the lips, it's almost like she has a weight hanging on it, like this. See how everything is more and more. Yeah. Yeah. And then now it's just like, put some wind on her. Okay, but can you give that feedback to the model? Like, I love how they're giving all this feedback to the screen. They're, like, the model's literally right here, and they'd be like, yeah, I'm really just, it's the, the neck and the, yeah. But if she does, yeah, if she does that, yeah. It would have been beautiful if had she just done that one thing, yeah. Could you just say all the things that you're saying to the computer screen, to the model? Beautiful. Oh my God, it's so, so nice. nice. You like wind. <laughs> you're so much better with the wind. Your eyes get tired, close them. And only open them when you're ready. But then the wind comes on Lara and she comes alive. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, we got it. You guys, this is just so beautiful. The fabric flowing. These are gonna be so nice, I already know it. Love, love this concept so far. Okay, Sunday, you're a little stiff. Part your lips, let me see if you part your lips, what happens? Even more? Uh, that's it, that takes away boredom, but so we have to watch that. So we're gonna part them and just show little teeth. Beautiful, Sunday. Where did this girl come from? I had to tell Sunday, relax those lips. And she went from this to this. Shout out to my friend Sunday. She has a YouTube channel and she does photography too, as well as modeling. And she has her own clothing line. Like she is incredible. You guys check her out. I'm gonna have her YouTube 
here and then linked in the description. Okay, here we go. Beautiful, pretty. Beautiful. Close the mouth a little bit. It looks like she's getting a little like horny, like turned on or something. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? I love that. Try, like, pulling this and screaming. Okay, let's scream pretty though. There's, I just, there are just some things you just don't say. Especially when you're trying to do a photo shoot. I would, as a photographer, I would never say this to a model. Had this not been for America's Next Top Model, you know the model would have went home to her other model friends and been like, oh my God, you won't believe what this photographer said to me. <laughs> okay, let's scream pretty though. Ready? <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> Mama Chulo, you I told you, you sound sexual. Oh, say Okay, we got you. She's trying to just get a good shot. There's nothing more to it. You, they're looking to, I don't like how they're taking this and making it something, like, come on. It doesn't, you guys are the ones making it into that. Hello, Brittany. That's definitely not Tyra's hand. She's not doing a light check. Like, they got the light meter out. He's like, okay, the F-stop's gonna be like eight point. That's not Tyra. She's not checking the light. She's not adjusting the settings. How involved is she? I leave it up to you guys. Hello, Brittany. Yeah, they're not gonna keep her face covered, oh right? You look like the bride of a mummy. At the beginning of this photo shoot, I can't even see Tyra's face. And after my last week's awkward pose, I definitely feel nervous to shoot with Tyra. So I needed to rock it. But are they gonna keep her face covered for this? Because like, isn't it the whole point of, of it is like beauty shoot to show your face? Okay, maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they'll do variations. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh, beautiful. Cool. Drop your left arm. Drop your left. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to do this concept. I want to do it with someone. This is nice. This is really, like the fabric is just so pretty. The beauty. Oh, okay, I'm going to do this concept in a future video. This has inspired me. Cool. Drop your left arm. Love that. I can tell. So oh, nice. Yeah, oh my God, oh my God. Make oh. Model through the mishap. Model through the mishap. Yes. Wow. We got it, Miss Lady. That was beautiful. This is by far your best shoot. Thank you so much. Jay said, this is the best photo shoot I've had so far. And if I got the number one photo, I would just feel freaking amazing. <laughs> she did so well. The poses, the fabric. I'm so excited to see these pictures. Softer, softer. Close your lips. And I'm trying to learn that it's okay to show more life in my eyes. Yeah, Bianca, you have everything working for you in these pictures except the eyes. It's a little dead here. Okay. Oh, Bianca, keep that profile. Relax your mouth. Arm down. Hold it. Hold it. Stronger arm. This is some of the best feedback I've seen Tyra give. I mean, everything she told the model to do improve the picture. I was like, yes, oh my God, perfect. Like, yeah, of, co of course, like, you know, drop her shoulder and like do this, do a profile. She knows, she knows what she's doing in this moment and it's just great to hear this feedback and communication. Look at me! Soften it. She gets hard, she looks mean. A little softer. And sometimes I wonder, is Bianca the verb and not the noun, meaning she can model? But she's See, not like I would have had her move her hand out like this. Her hand was kind of like in. I would have had her have her. So Tyra is right when she says soften it up. I do agree with that. She's giving really good feedback overall. Here we go. A little less harsh, a little more sweet smiles. Think about your baby girl. Ray, she's so sweet. Ray put her daughter inside of her head, inside of her spirit. Think about how much you love her. How beautiful she is. You pull her and you pull against it and she delivered the most angelic picture. Oh my God. It was so amazing. It was like, yes, there's nothing that will ever top that. You guys, I think I'm gonna cry. It was so fun. We have a really great photo shoot overall. You can see the models' responses to it are just, they're overwhelmed, it's positive, they had a good time. That's what we love to see on the show. Okay, give me a little bit more. Kara has one of my favorite faces in the competition. You look a little scared, Kara. You look a little scared. But she gets on the set and she does nothing. She 
it up. I call that relying on the DNA. I don't know that she was doing nothing. I mean, she's actively participating. And you were only seeing, like, they show us, like, a five-second clip of her standing. You're like, we didn't see the rest of the photo shoot. Whoa, look at you. Okay, stomach hurts. Give me a stomach ache. But, uh, not, but it's still a pretty face. I, I love that. Nice, yeah, let's play with those eyes. Has somebody been practicing in the mirror? Aaron. That girl knows how to model. She knows what to do with her face. She knows what to do with her neck. Thank you. She knows what to do with her body, but she does not know what to do with her personality. She's not playing. I um, okay. Like, what is this, America's Next Top Personality? What do you... It's crazy, because I'll get criticized for defending the models too much. So, like, me saying, like, oh, she shouldn't attack her personality. I mean, that's... But that's what I think. She's not... I thought she did a good job, but when you talk to her on set, she doesn't say anything back. But she gets it. She's just falling into it. And she did this one little thing like, I heard you tie. Like, I got you, but I'm not going to mess up. I but love that. I got you. I like that. I have a feeling had the model said something, then Tyra would have found that to be a problem. Yeah, she just came in talking the whole time. She's there to model. But then she didn't say anything, and she was modeling well. And Tyra's like, well, she didn't say anything to me on set. I mean, you would... You want her to, like, give you a thesis statement on her, the origin story of her life? Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Nicole is a model that has some talent. Right. Neck, 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 give me neck. She moves, she contorts, she twists. But the one thing she's got to watch out for are her hands look like Gollum. Okay, we got it. Genius. Yes. She needs to pull it back and make it like a model. Are you ready? Tyra's out here saying models have goblin hands. Gollum hands, whoever whoever that is. Whatever, you know what? I'm sure he has wonderful hands, whoever Gollum is. And Goblin. Goblins are actually really wonderful people, okay? Have you ever watched Halloween Town? Don't judge people. Also, the Halloween Town theme song, that is my jam. That is my song. Listen to it after this. You know what I'm talking about. Up to the light. That work. Mm. Well, apparently, the headscarf that I have on is not quite right. So I go back and I change into that. Whatever head wrap wow, I'm going to yes, be wearing. Wow, yes, I agree. Tyra made the right call. I like this better, the red. I really want my eyes to translate. And look at me. Sweat smiles. So I start shooting Ashley with a tighter scarf, but I'm frustrated still. And then I start wondering, was it the looser headscarf that was the problem? Or was it Ashley not bringing it? I want to try this. So then they take the cap off of me. They kind of decide to put the scarf across my face. And there was a little bit of worry in there. You know, I'm thinking, is it me? Let me try that. On her face. Clean up a little. Mm -hmm. We got it. So Tyra seemed a bit unsure about the styling on this model and changed it a bunch of times. I liked the first change that she made where she had her in that red headscarf. I thought that was a good change. Maybe had they just had like a red fabric, that could have been cool. I'm not really, I wasn't really crazy about the blue. Plus, like, it was like a dark backdrop. A dark fabric with a dark backdrop, you know, kind of, it could get lost, but got to see how the lighting is. Uh, so, so, yeah, Tyra seemed uh, to spend the most time on, on this model. So, let's see these final photos that Tyra took. Brittany! So let me explain a little something, judges. This week, there was a little twist. Mr. J and I chose best picture at the end of the photo shoot. Let's show the judges what won as best picture this week. Wow, that is, that's lovely, I must say. Very nice, I would have, well, I was gonna say I would have liked it cropped and more, but I do like the flow of the fabric. But like her arm being cut off, I think it's the composition that I don't like. So, let's see your best shot. Very beautiful. I like this a lot. Very nice. Had they just cropped it in closer, it would have been, right? Because it's supposed to be like a beauty shot. So, it's supposed to be, when I think of beauty, I think a little bit closer up. But I do, I like this one a lot. The lighting is beautiful. Uh, toning, not crazy about, because they got all these beautiful colors and the fabric and makeup, and then they're just going to make it one color, you know? I don't know. Not crazy about it. 
I think you did such a great job on the set. I wish you would have a little bit more personality with me because it's important, and Nigel always says this, for the photographer and the model to have some type of rapport going. Open that mouth, connect to that photographer because that's how you're gonna get booked for the next job. Thank but that's also how she could get eliminated from the show. By saying, like we all have seen it time and time again, the models say something or it's taken out of context or something and then they get in trouble for it. So I don't know about that, Tyra. Let's see your best shot. Wow. The toning is so beautiful. The lighting is so soft, so pretty. This is gorgeous. This to me is number one. It's funny, you've got a great body, and then it goes all the way up to your eyes, and there's a deadness. It isn't no. enough for me of angst. I agree, I don't feel like you look completely present. Okay, thank you. No, I disagree, a thousand percent disagree. She had one of the best pictures. She took an effortless picture. She didn't even have to do anything. She just, she just stood there. Hi, guys. Ashley, what remnant bin were you rummaging through? <laughs> okay, let's... Remove some of the hot mess. If you tied your hair in a high pony as well, I think. She can't do that. Why do, you care, like, why do you care about her hairstyle? What? It's nice. <laughs> Don't be asking no black girl what we have to be doing no hot ponytail. <laughs> Is this Project Runway now? They're like, okay, you need to sew this up and you need to uh, create a piece and from it has to be a seven piece collection. What are you, as, you're all stylists now? You're all designers? Leave the girls alone. They always have to make a comment about what they're wearing or. What, oh, you look, this is a terrible hairstyle on you and, and put your hair down or put your hair up and don't wear those shoes and okay, bro, okay, okay, let's get to the picture. <laughs> okay, Ashley, let's see you with the scarf. No, this is not, why would, I told you guys that, that that dark background just did not suit this blue fabric on her. They should have kept that like soft olive colored backdrop. It was so pretty. It's okay. It's a it's, it truly is a photography. You're not pushing through on this. I think what's missing is some of this. Mm -hmm. This is what's missing. A little smile. A little, a little smile. How did you feel shooting with me? I love shooting with you personally, but I think the outfit changing and I, you know, and so I was trying to figure out like what's going wrong, sort of. Every time it changes. No, no, girl, no, don't. Uh oh, oh no, she's giving an opinion. I can't see this going in a good direction. The model's like, I wasn't really sure about the outfit changes. I'm like, it's happening. She's about to get roasted by all the judges. Every time it changes, it deliver. Let me tell you why we were changing it. No, I, told, I see, I knew this was coming. Nothing good can come from voicing your opinions on America's Next Top Model, especially when it's an opinion on what Tyra has done. Don't, it's a trap. When she asked you what, you, how you felt, you just say, yes, of course, yes. Amazing. Let me tell you why we were changing it. There's different reasons why an art director or a stylist will change the clothes. Sometimes they'll change it just because they don't feel like this is the best look and they want to do something different. Sometimes it's because the model is not selling it. She's falling short and you were falling short. So I didn't want to tell you that on set because I didn't want to get you down. Okay, thank you, Ashley. <laughs> so that's why you're telling her it now after judge, during judging. She's like, I didn't want to like hurt your feelings or make you feel like you're not a good mom. So I'm telling you this in front of everybody publicly um, during judging as your final photo comes up. That was, by the way, it was terrible. So that's why I was doing it. It was all for you, girl. So uh, my light goes out and so is my patience. You guys already know she's going to be at the bottom too. I already know. she's going. Maybe she's even going to go home. Who knows? So you're telling me all the other models no problem with their styling and their looks, right? Everything was perfect. But then you come up to this model and suddenly, oh, I don't like the styling and I don't, and change it five times. And you have a professional team of stylists and makeup artists and a whole team, a crew to help assist you. And yet you felt the need to change her up like three times. Come on, little exaggerated. What do you guys think? Nice. Up next is Laura. Wow. <laughs> Girl, you look like you win your bloomers. My grandma made it. I love That's it. That's so Gra cute. I love her outfit. Oh, that is major. It's actually not really that, Laura. I just don't think it's appropriate for judging. I can't wait to meet Grandma Wanda Soup. Okay. <laughs> Let's see your best shot. Very sexy. 
Oh my, this toning is absolutely stunning. Beautiful light. Just so, the backdrop with these colors and the fabric, beautiful. Love it. This is this is like my second favorite. I wish her back arm would have been out and like kind of lining her body, like bordering her body right here. And then they brought in her other arm and brought it in like this. It would have been so beautiful. But I mean, this is a stunning photo. I really, really like this one. I love this outfit if the collar was down. Collar was down, then you don't ten like it. Years off of you. Okay, Bianca, let's see your best shot. What? What is with the cropping of the arms? It's kind of... I don't like the arm be, arms being cropped like this. It's supposed to be a beauty shot, so I was kind of expecting to see, like, here up, you know? I mean, I don't mind it. I think it's still pretty, but she really sold me on, like, the beauty, beauty shot. Zoomed in, 100 millimeter <laughs> lens. I don't know. Ready. Hi. Wow, this is great. I like this one. It doesn't really match the vibe of the other ones, but it's, yeah, it's quite nice. Cropping's not my favorite. Had this been a portrait, like you do a little one of these, oh, beautiful. Next is Nicole. Hello. It's beautiful. What? Are you serious? Why is it so dark? I don't like, I don't like the lighting in this one and the... It's so dark in the back. I was liking the I was liking the vibe of the first few ones. It's beautiful. Nicole, I feel like you're feeling the fashion. I feel like you're living it. I feel like it's in your spirit. It's in your gut. That's just because you want this. To me, the body is um, almost like Gollum, twisted and contorted. <gasps> she had some like this. My pretty. <laughs> Out of all the things to say, this woman says, oh, it looks like Gollum, which happens to be the same exact thing that Tyra said that her hands look like during the photo shoot. So tell me, how is she just going to come up? Oh, Gollum, yeah, he's a friend of mine. Like, where did you come up with Gollum? So th what's going on here? Did Tyra tell you to say that? Someone must have told her to, to mention Gollum. I just looked him up. I, I didn't, haven't watched Lord of the Rings. I probably should. I will watch it. But what the heck? That's so messed up. Have they ever watched Lord of the Rings? Probably not. They're like, we're going to just, we, we've heard of this fictional character that he's really ugly. That's who we're going to compare you to. Never watch the movies. Just not a care in the world about the movies. I don't have the time. But we're going to keep referencing him. All right, Sunday, are you ready to see your photo? Yes. Ooh. Wow. Stunning, gorgeous, beautiful. Now this is what I was expecting to see. A beautiful close-up beauty shot. Stunning. I love the toning on this as well. Colors are very muted. I love Sunday's expression and the way that her shoulders are placed. It's perfect. This is perfect. Let's see your best shot. Wow, I like this one. This one's nice. I love the toning and the light. The lighting is so pretty here. And the retouching. You guys, like, do I, do I believe that Tyra was over there post-processing all of this? I don't. I don't believe that she edited any of these or retouched these. I think that they had a professional team work on these afterwards. But I don't know. What do you guys think? When you were on set, you asked me something. What did you ask me? You're like, can I? I was like, can I scream? Sure, whatever. Do it. Sure. Ah! Ah! I was super impressed with you. And I think the girls can learn from you about how to bring personality on that set to be remembered. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. She is so, so cute. So now it's time for the judges to- She is so cute. Love her. I think her picture was stunning, beautiful. They all did such a good job. So let's see who goes home. So both of you stand before me for different reasons. Bianca, you stand before me. And actually, it's such a shock and awful it's that you're collar. standing in front of me. It's the collar. She didn't like the outfit. And then we have Ashley. Ashley, it was so hard to shoot you, but I continue to tell you beautiful, beautiful, yes. And I would give you the critique, but if I would have told you how difficult it was, you might not have been able to continue. You were the most difficult girl for me to shoot out of all of the 10 girls here. It's funny you say that, Tyra, because you showed up to an already set up environment 
regarding photography, your settings all adjusted. You had someone with a light meter come in and check the light. You had the V flat set up. You had assistance. You had a whole crew of people setting up lights. Everything is done for you. You show up, you press a few buttons and you want to critique the model and say, oh, it's so difficult to shoot you. What did you, you literally had to do the bare minimum. The bare, you literally showed up took a camera that already all the settings are probably already done for you in my opinion go press a button and that's it all you have to do was direct you know how easy it would have been to set this up all they would have to do is like put her in something that they don't they know doesn't look good on her and then be like oh halfway through the shoot oh let's just change it let and just keep changing it and just keep going "Mm, not really sure like it's so easy to set up a situation like this in order to place doubt in a model's mind and make her think okay maybe i'm not doing so great and then, and then coincidentally put her, in, put her in the bottom too. Tyra, are you using manual settings or was it auto? Like, that's what I want to know also. Have you ever had a sea sand fall on you? I'm just asking. I'm curious. Ashley, hopefully you can keep it together with the next photographer. Do you think she deserved to be in the bottom too? Did she have the worst picture or was it just bad photography? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.